Hello there, uh, Father. Uh, Father, who are you? Who are you? Uh, Father Ted Crilly. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, I see, it's from the bishop. Right. Ah, I see you're taking Father Jack's place. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Has Mrs. Doyle shown you around the house? <laughs> well, uh, anyway, welcome to Craggy Island. The meals are at 11, 1, half 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And if you ever want a quick snack, uh, you can just ask Mrs. Doyle there. <laughs> no, uh, no, actually, that, that's, that's actually mine. <laughs> well, you, you go ahead there and have it anyway. <laughs> Dougal, uh, this is uh, Father Finton Stack. He'll be staying with us now that Father Jack's gone. All right, Jack. Uh... This is the brains of the operation. Uh, no, that'll be Ted. <laughs> I want to listen to some music. Oh, go ahead there. I wasn't asking for permission. So, um, what do you think of Father Stack? Well, um... It says in uh, his note from the bishop that they, um, they never really found a suitable parish for him. He's not a very nice man, is he? God, Ted, I've never met anyone like him anyway. Who would he be like, Hitler or one of those mad fellas? <laughs> oh, worse than Hitler. You wouldn't find Hitler playing jungle music at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> God, he, he almost makes Jack seem normal. <laughs> you know, he nearly does. <laughs> right, carry on. <laughs> what I was going to say is, you'd almost sort of miss Father Jack, wouldn't you? He had his funny little ways. But, you know, whenever he'd hit you or whatever, he'd never do it out of spite. He'd only do it because, you know, he, he thought it was funny or whatever. <laughs> I suppose when you think about it now, it, it was sort of funny, wasn't it, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time he gave you a big kick up the B-O-T-T-Y? <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember, Ted, do you remember when you were uh, bending over him? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and he oh. held your nose uh, so tight that you had to open your mouth and then he dropped a big spider in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't funny, Dougal. <laughs> It was funny when he kicked you up the arse. It wasn't funny when he put the spider in my mouth. That was Ted. No, it wasn't Dougal. Ah, Ted. Dougal! Anyway, he's gone now. It's funny how you, you know, you miss someone's little ways. Come on, you can't sit watching television all night. It's a big waste. Chewing gum for the eyes. Uh, no, thanks, Ted. <laughs> anyway, I've got these crisps here. Look, Ted, this is what I do. I get a cheese and onion one and a salt and vinegar one and I eat them in the same go. <laughs> that leak is getting worse, Dougal. I think we'll have to move himself and put that bucket under it. Right, fair enough, Ted. God almighty, that's going to cost a fortune to fix. Where are we going to get the money? Think, Dougal, how can we raise some money? Hmm. Yes, mm. I know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Ted. Yes! <laughs> but now, wait, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a big step, and uh, where are we going to get the guns? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Oh, wait a minute now. Actually, I, I might have been thinking about something different. <laughs> you thought we were going to rob a bank, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> well, Drew, this isn't a Bruce Willis film. I was thinking more along the lines of a raffle. What do we have as a prize, though? You've got me there, Ted. I think we can get something. Under the rules of the diocese, we're allowed a raffle prize every couple of years. It's not, Ted. <laughs> Look, we have to move them out of here. Uh, where's the thing? The thing for waking them up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Father! Father, it's only us! Get your feck! Come on, Father, we're going to have to move you again. Drink! <laughs> Don't drink that, Father. No! It's fakin' water! <laughs> and I've been looking up the records, and the island hasn't been given anything to raffle since those two bags of coal in 1964. Uh, I think we're entitled, uh, under the rules of the diocese... <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Yes, thanks again. Uh, all right. Uh, bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. <laughs> no luck, then. <laughs> Lots of luck, Dougal. We're being given a car. A car? That's a brilliant prize, Ted. Oh, it's not that unusual. Father Finnegan got one last year. You know him, don't you, Dougal? The dancing priest. Dances for peace. Oh, yeah. Is he still going? Oh, yes, indeed. He danced across America last year. New York to Los Angeles. He was mugged about once every 15 miles. <laughs> Great! We'll have the roof sorted out in no time. Did you hear that, Father? <laughs> Where's Father Jack, Dougal? Where's Father Jack? Yes. <laughs> Father Jack, where is he? He's in his... Oh, um... <laughs> You've lost him again, haven't you? I have, Ted, yeah. <laughs> you took him out for a walk and you lost him... again. That must have been what happened all right, yeah. So, what have you got to say for yourself? Well, Ted, like I said the last time, it won't happen again. Dougal, are you not going to go and look for him? Ah, Ted, he'll come back on his own. Sure, what's the worst that can happen to him? Well, he could have an accident and be killed. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, wait a second, Ted. Is that not Jack there? <laughs> ah, Dougal, you didn't even get him out the door, did you? Oh, I thought the wheelchair felt a bit lighter today, all right. Just... Come on, help me get him up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dougal, take off his gloves there. Right so, Ted. Ted. Mm -hmm. Ted, they're not gloves. <laughs> God, they're very hairy hands altogether, aren't they? <laughs> What do you think is wrong with him? I don't know. God, do you remember the time his head went septic? <laughs> yes. I mean, I didn't think a whole head could go septic. You know? I mean, a whole head, you know. Oh, but that's Jack for you. Anyway, I better look in the book. <laughs> right. Ah, yeah. Hold his hand up there, Dougal. Well, he got up to stage four after drinking that brake fluid the last time. I think this could be a stage six. Hello to the lot of yous. Hello, Mr. Hello, Doyle. Mrs. Doyle. Ah, uh, would you look at him there with his hairy hands? <laughs> yes, sir, we're going to have to call Dr. Sinnott. He'll know what to do. I had to go to him myself a couple of weeks ago. Really? Oh, I didn't know you were ill. Uh, what was the trouble? Well, it was a bit of a woman's problem. I was having a bit of trouble... Right, I better ring before it's too late. <laughs> Right, so it's the hairy hands. Yes. A stage six. It looks like it, yeah. I'll get ready upstairs. Ted, why is Jack so scared of doctors? Well, I, I, I think they remind him of illness. He doesn't like to think about his own mortality, you know. That's why he always hated visiting the sick. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, he hates the sick. And the poor. <laughs> he hates the poor as well. Oh, the poor really got on his nerves. Yeah. And the needy. <laughs> them as well. What was it he used to say about the needy? He had a term for them. Uh... A shower of bastards. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dougal, when we bring the doctor in, just behave completely normal. Just pretend like he's a normal visitor. We don't want Jack to suspect that anything's up, OK? Right. 
Right, Doctor? Ready to go in? All right, in you go. Remember. <laughs> Completely normal. <laughs> so it's off to St. Clabbert's again, Doctor? Yes. And the way I see it, it's more for your sake than for his. That hair thing can be very contagious. <laughs> How long do you think they'll have him? Hard to say. Could be for a while. Actually, Father, you should be prepared. It might be better for his own sake if he doesn't come back. Great! I mean, no, no. <laughs> we'll just have to grin and bear it, I suppose. I'll try and break it to him gently. Thanks, Doctor. Father Jack, <laughs> do you remember that great time you had at St. Clabbert's? <laughs> remember all the fun you had with those nuns fussing about you? Hmm? <laughs> well, Dr. Sinna thinks another spell there would do you a world of good. <laughs> OK, it might mean giving up the odd glass of sherry or two, but sure, that's all for your own good. <laughs> I think you'll have a fantastic time. It'll probably be just one big laugh with all those nuns fussing all the time. Father! Father! Where, where's he gone? <laughs> this is a bit mad, Shh. Ted. Why don't we just ask the nuns to give him back? Because Dr. Sinnott said he's sick and old and moving him might be dangerous. <clears throat> anyway, I got a second opinion. Who from? Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I mean, kidnap. It's not kidnapping. It's just we're bringing him back home to where he belongs. It's, it's like Lassie come home, except with Father Jack as Lassie. <laughs> Who are we, then? What? I don't know. The, the other people in the film, you're, you're Roddy McDowell and I'm Liz Taylor. Huh? Right, that's fine, Ted. I just wanted to get that straight in my head. Right, let's go. Right. Behind you, Ted. Dougal, shut up, will you? We have to keep it quiet. Right. Look, look around there and see if there's a light switch somewhere. What's all that noise? Quick, Dougal, here. That's not Father Jack. <laughs> Hello, Father Walton. Fuck off! You mean not do, Ted? No, I... I don't think so, no. A stage 12. I never thought I'd see one. Ah, Ted, can we not keep him? No. Come on. Let's get Father Jack. Have you got the torch, Dougal? Yes. Arse! Fetch! Drink! Girls! Drink! Drink! Kick! Toss! Girls! I really shouldn't be here. Drink, 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 fake, arse, girls. Drink, 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 drink. All right, father, all drink. right, all right, all drink. right. Drink, 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 oh. drink, drink, drink. drink. <laughs> Try upstairs, Father. <laughs> Jumping on my picture again, Father. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with that? No, none at all. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. What was all that noise? That's Father Jack. He's the fellow you replaced. Well, tell him to get lost. I'm here now. <laughs> I thought you might like the pleasure of telling him that yourself. <laughs> I thought you might also like to tell him what happened to his whiskey. <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to be scared. Isn't that it? Drink! <laughs> Listen.
Listen to that, Dougal. I don't hear anything. That's what I mean. The sound of silence. No, I still don't hear anything. <laughs> what I was going to say to you is, Ted, I'm very sorry that I didn't disinfect Jack's chair like you told me to. I mean, it's probably all my fault that lad got the hair thing. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure he's fine now that he's up in Jurassic Park. Best place for him, really. Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> anyway, how are you getting on in there, Father? Hmm? It's a great little invention, isn't it? And you won't have to go back to St. Labert's. <laughs> anyway, time for bed. Come on, Dougal. Ah.